Well, right now, everyone in the Valley is encouraged to mask up again inside, regardless of vaccination status. That recommendation comes from the Southern Nevada Health District. Thank you for joining us live on TV, KTMV.com or wherever you're streaming us right now. I'm Trisha Keen. And I'm Ty Quinones. Now it comes after weeks of increases in COVID-19 cases. And so now casinos and resorts, they are reviewing their mask policies. But well, the Westgate, for example, is among the few properties right now requiring employees to wear masks. And that's where 13 Action News anchor Rachel Moore now joins us live to explain this move. Rachel. Well, Todd, Tricia, you might remember that we were here at Westgate on June 1st when Nevada fully reopened. And back then they were excited to bring back their employees. They were excited to welcome back the guests. So they really just want to keep this enthusiasm and momentum going. So one of the things that they're doing is requiring all of their employees to wear one of these. Very tough decision but we really feel that that's what's best to keep our team members and our guests as safe as possible. Masks are back over at Westgate Las Vegas. The policy reinstated for employees as the spread of the coronavirus Delta variant rages across Southern Nevada. We're going to have to, as a business community, collectively figure out how do we get this thing turned around. Statewide, the test positivity rate in COVID-19 cases continues to skyrocket, spiking to 11.3% in the past two weeks. The Southern Nevada Health District recommending that all individuals, vaccinated or not, wear a mask in crowded public settings. That includes grocery stores, malls, large events, and casinos. And everybody, you know, feels they can police the ones that haven't been vaccinated, but it's really difficult to do that. And there's so many guests that are coming in that aren't vaccinated. Westgate VP of Public Relations and Community Affairs Gordon Prouty says they offer vaccinations on site for their team members while educating, encouraging and incentivizing their employees to get the shot, a shared position by the Culinary Workers Union. We've held town halls in English and Spanish. We've sent hundreds of thousands of texts and emails to members and non-union workers educating them about the vaccine. The vaccine is safe, proven effective, and we will remain vigilant to ensure workers are protected at work. Protecting their employees and guests is what the Westgate says is a top priority, calling their team members the heartbeat of the property. We've got to keep this momentum going. The last thing we want to have to do is step back. And we do have a list of vaccination sites on our website, ktmv.com. Reporting live, Rachel Moore, 13 Action News.